Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today's potion DIY is going to be, drum roll please, do 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 do. We're going to be looking at Amortentia Love Potion, and this is the one that I'm going to be making today with you guys step by step. So I will leave a list of everything that I used down below if you'd like to follow along with me. I think this is perhaps one of my favorite potions that I've made so far. Uh, yeah, so if you'd like to know how to make your very own love potion, then keep watching. If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family but let's go because there's a very potent potion that I need to make for you guys okay let's get this love potion started so the first thing that you're going to need is an appropriate glass potion bottle now I've actually had this one for a couple of years now because I wanted to do this video a long time ago but never got round to it you can get these online eBay Amazon craft stores it's just a glass corked bottle in the shape of a love heart and this is obviously perfect for a love potion so that's gonna be the first thing and the main thing that you're gonna need I then went ahead and made a love potion label. Now for this, you're just gonna have to design your own label or you can get your very own on Etsy if you like. I tried to make my own with a few elements that I got online and then you just need to print it on adhesive sticker paper, which is super simple. This is the easiest way to attach labels to things, as you guys know, if you've watched my other DIYs. Next up, I then got myself some sparkle paint. This. I saw and I thought it was perfect for the love potion. It was quite inexpensive. I got it from Hobbycraft, but you can find this kind of thing in most art and craft stores. So I advise getting either a sparkly paint like this one, or you can probably get pink glitter glues as well. Or even if you just find a pink glue that you can then add glitter into, that would work too. So this is what we're gonna be filling our love potion bottle with today. Now I haven't fully planned how I want to decorate this yet, but I have gone ahead and got myself lots of little things that I thought could work nicely for this DIY. Now I may not be using all of them but it's nice to have options. So this is what I have so far. I have got some little beads which I can attach with some wire. This is craft wire. I've got mine in gold. I've also found these little pink ribbons. They're kind of like little bows and they have these pearl centers which I thought was so sickly sweet that it would be perfect for a love potion and I also have these I just thought you know grab a key to someone's heart I thought it would be really sweet to put it on the bottle somehow I also found these iridescent gems I do love a good sparkle these definitely do the job so I think I might add these to the potion somehow I also found these pearl beads which are attached on a string already not sure if I'm going to use those but it's nice to have the option and then I found these kind of pink ropes uh, it was about one pound for a meter for each of these. So it's really cheap. You can get these from craft stores. So let's see what kind of love potion we can make today. Oh, and I almost forgot you might need some glue because I will be sealing the cork lid once we have filled it up with our sparkly paint. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is fill our bottle of love potion. So I'm just gonna grab the sparkly paint and fill the jar as much as possible without making a mess. <laughs> she made a mess already. Now, if you get to the situation where it looks like this, just simply give it a little bit of a shake to try and settle the paint and get as many of the air bubbles out as possible. We can also stir this to get some of the bubbles out as well. So if you have something like tweezers, these are washable, so don't worry about mucking them up. Get some of those air bubbles out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of the bottle. So 
once you have filled your love potion and you're happy with how it looks, then just take a piece of tissue if you've made any messes around the neck of the bottle and just wipe those away like so. Now a quick tip, make sure that you don't overfill your glass jar because I definitely didn't need to just take some of this out because the cork does need room to fit inside. So once you have enough of your potion in there, we're then going to get our glue. This is kind of all purpose adhesive, super strong, fast and clean, universal power adhesive. Yes. So I'm going to get the glue. Of course it starts coming out. And then I'm going to gently put it around the base of the cork and then we're going to just pop it into our potion. Try not to get much of this onto your fingers like I am doing. It's probably best to hold it from the top right there. So we're just gonna gently push our cork into our bottle. Now, once you have put your cork in with your glue, you may find that some of the glue kind of pops up a little bit and makes a mess. Now, if you do want to clear this up, simply get a cotton bud and remove some of the excess so that it's a nice, clean close. So I'm just gonna put our love potion to one side because next I'm gonna be cutting out the potion label. So it says, Amaltentia, warning, causes a powerful infatuation or obsession to the drinker. And it's a love potion and I put a little cupid on there as well. So I'm just going to cut around this label so that we can stick it on to the bottle. So here we have our little label. Now, some of you guys may know that once I've cut labels out, I really do not like the white line that it creates at the side. I feel as though it takes some of the magic away. So I'm just gonna grab a black Sharpie and quickly run along the edges. So once you've cut out your label and you've made the edges less white, we're then going to simply peel the backing off our sticker and put it onto our potion bottle in a place that makes us happy, makes us feel joy, makes us feel love. Right, so I'm gonna try and center that. That's not very centered, but it's stuck now. So there we are. Right, so it is in the middle actually, it's okay. So we've got our label on and already, I think this is looking really cool. I'm really happy with this. Now, the exciting part for me is the decoration part of these potions and creating these bottles. So we've got our love potion in there. We have our label, we've got the cork in there. So I then guess I'm gonna be using things like this and all of these little bits and bobs, which I'm really looking forward to. So what color goes best with this? So we've got a baby pink, which I think is quite sweet, which would, I'm gonna end up putting a bow in the middle somewhere, I think. But I do also have this deep raspberry pink, which might work too. Let's have a little, oh, I think I prefer this kind of pink maybe. Hmm, choices, choices. So after much decision making, I have come to the conclusion that I'm going to use this dark raspberry pink kind of rope stuff. The way that I'm going to attach this is I'm going to tie it around the neck of the bottle like so and have the kind of fasten part at the front. So it looks like this. And then I think I'm going to cut here and then hot glue it at the back so it looks like it's really well done. So I'm gonna take my scissors and have a little snip snip and same on the other side. So when I turn it around, these loose bits will end up being somewhere around here and I'm gonna hot glue the ends together so it looks as neat as possible. This is the glue gun segment where we wait for it to heat up. Okay, our gun is warm. We are ready to glue. We have lift off. So I am going to just put a blob of glue in the neck of the bottle right here and hope for the best. Come on, glue for me. I'll wait for everyone in the comments saying, that's not how you use a glue gun. I have a really bad glue gun. <laughs> okay, there we go. And I'm then going to quickly, before it sets, just kind of shove the end of the rope in and same on the other side and let it set. 
So this is what we have so far. We have some decor around the neck of the bottle. Now, something that I really did want to place onto here was this little pink bow, but I'm not sure whether I want to do that yet because I do want to somehow incorporate one of these keys as well as these beads somehow. And I think I'll be using some craft wire for that. Annoyingly, I don't have too many tools for this. So if you are gonna use craft wire, make sure that you're sensible, unlike me, and you use crafting tools. I'm just gonna go ahead and release one of these keys. I think they're all the same, aren't they? Yep, so it doesn't matter which one I choose. So I'm just gonna undo one of these. This is the one that I want to use, as well as some of these beads. Now, the beads that I went for were pearls, some kind of diamondy things. There's some clear diamonds, some pink ones, and some purple ones, because I feel as though this color theme is very Love Potion-esque. I've also got some pink pearls in there as well, but obviously I'm not gonna use all of these, but these are definitely the colors that I do recommend for a Love Potion. So I'm going to grab my craft wire and cut a little length off. It doesn't matter how long, really. I'm not really planning this as such. I'm just kind of winging it, going with the flow. Now, you could use something like clear line for this if you didn't want to use craft wire. I am going to try using the craft wire first because it is what I have to hand. With these kind of things, I tend to make a little ball of wire at one end and then start popping on the beads. Then you kind of manipulate it around and that kind of thing. Let's just just have a go. So I've just gone ahead and made a little shape at the end of the wire just to stop the beads from falling off it. There's no particular kind of skill to doing so. So I'm then gonna just make a little dangly thing out of beads. I know, technical term, but you can do these in any order you like, any colors you like. It's completely up to you, which I think is all part of the fun, really. Crafting some little beady boys. Now, I'm not gonna make this too long, but I am also checking that it goes quite nicely with the potion But also I think I'm then gonna go ahead and put one of those and those and those on the other side. You know what I mean. Okay, so once you have your beads on their wire, we're then going to be binding it kind of underneath here so it's not fully seen. So I'm gonna start around there and just bind it quite tightly as well because you don't want it flying off. And then once we get to this side, let's just tuck that under a little bit better, shall we? And then I am going to make sure those beads are out of the way and twist so that this locks it in place. Now, because our beads are on wire, they're quite easy to manipulate. So I'm probably gonna follow the shape of the bottle by bending these downwards a little bit like so. And just manipulate them to a position that you're happy with, basically. She's cute. Now, the next task is to somehow attach this key. I think I'm going to use craft wire again because I don't really want to hot glue her anywhere. Now, the best way that I can think of attaching this key, as it does have a loop up here, I'm going to take a length of craft wire and put the key down into the middle like so. Then we're gonna want to start twisting the wire onto itself. This can be quite tricky, so just take your time with it. And then once you've done a few rotations, you can then take the key and kind of start twisting it and it will make a nice twisty wire rope for you. Now, once you've got a little bit of length on your twisty rope wire, <laughs> technical terms on this channel, I'm then going to use the rest of the wire as a kind of fastener around the neck of the bottle. And what's nice about this kind of length that we've created here with the twists is that we can then manipulate the shape and the direction that the key goes. So I think I do want it the same side as the beads. So just attach your wire to the neck of the bottle and if it's a little bit too long, which mine might be, just simply untwist it a little bit from the top until you're happy. Mm. 
Now for the back, obviously the back doesn't matter so much. You can just do a, another little twisty and then get your wire cutters and trimmers and just give it a little snip. Oh, that's cute. It's got a nice little swing. We like that. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I do have these very sweet little pink bows with these teeny tiny little pearls on there. So I thought this would be really cute to have there in the center of the bottle. So I'm gonna go get my handy glue gun yet again and stick the little thing on. So I'm gonna take my glue gun and glue some, a little dollop in the center right there and trying to be as neat as I possibly can and then quickly going in there with the bow and holding it down quite firmly so that it dries in the right place. I think the final touch that I want to give to this Amortentia Love Potion is to add some of these really sweet iridescent gems. Now these are adhesive gems, so you can just peel them off like stickers and then add them wherever you want. You don't have to place them where I'm placing mine. You could put them on the base of the bottle or around the label. I think I'm gonna put like one or two dotted around the label. I don't want it to be full kind of jazzy. Don't want it to look too, too jazzy. So here is our sheet. These are so satisfying. Ooh, I'm like a niffler. Look at those shiny boys, yes. Okay, so let's just go ahead and decorate our label. I think that's as many of the little sticky gems that I'm gonna put on as I don't want to overdo it, but I think there's a nice balance of them on that label. I am so happy with how this looks. I don't think there's anything else that I would personally add to this. <laughs> it's quite a bold looking potion bottle as it is, as it is the strongest and most potent love potion in the world. I would absolutely love your thoughts on this. Did you enjoy this DIY? If you did, don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up and leave a comment down below in the comments what else you would like to see in this series. I think this is one of my favorites so far. It's very pink and very girly, which you don't often kind of associate with potions, I don't think. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. I guess I will see you soon.